I want everyone at home to know if you're sitting here watching all the action and thinking, I wish I gotten a ticket to get down there and get in on the action. Here at the Rio, you can still come down. They'll have a countdown in the casino cookie jar. A longtime legend lounge singer here in Las Vegas will be leading the countdown and then giving a free concert afterward right in the casino. You were in the yeah. casino a little it's, while ago. It's oh, crazy. It's crazy down there. It's going to be a swinging shindig here at the Rio. So come down, baby. All right. Now, Austin, we need to talk about cocktails. Your thoughts? You like to have a cocktail yeah, now yeah. and again. I, I like a mojo cocktail, baby. <laughs> yeah. Here at the uh, Rio, they like to have the flair bartenders uh, serve up the cocktails. and. Earlier, I had a chance to go down to the I-Bar, right in the center of the casino, and find out what it takes to flip all those bottles and spin all those glasses around. Here at the I-Bar, it's not enough to just pour a drink. Flair bartenders put on a show while they serve up cocktails. I've always been good with my hands and eyes, so a good hand-eye coordination. Other than that, just practice. Peter Medina moved to Las Vegas to learn from the best flair bartenders in the world. Now, he's one of them. I tried practicing over my dining room table. Broke that. <laughs> and then, I don't know, just started meeting other people who did it. And I decided I wanted to try to do what they were doing. Started competing and competed, did well. And ever since then, I've been flaring. Our flair bartenders can catch anyone's eye, and these guys are amazing with what they do with bottles and tins. What I want to teach them is what goes in the glasses just as amazing. Bobby G is in charge of making sure the drinks don't just look great, they have to taste great too. Not only are people wowed by what they do with the bottle, once they taste that cocktail, they're ready for another one. He says all that choreographed spinning and shaking may seem like something new, but it's actually been around since the late 1800s. Actually, the Boston shaker, which is your standard cocktail shaker, which is a mixing tin and a glass, came about quite by accident by a bartender that wanted to put a little something extra into a show, and he found that the two pieces fit together, and he actually shook that drink to add a little show to his, to his bartending. You can tell Bobby G is really proud of this place, says it's the perfect mix of precise mixology and flair. Can anyone be a flair bartender? I mean, what are, I'm not the most coordinated guy in the world. So uh, my son, I can't do it. I can't juggle three balloons, you know, and these guys are out here, they're juggling things and flipping it behind their back, catching it on their shoulder, catching it on their forearm. It's just amazing. He suggested I give it a try to see for myself. <laughs> there you go. Good idea. And Peter is willing to risk his own safety to help me out. So close. Are you Even though my flair is clearly putting fear into Peter, he says I should stick with it because there's nothing like the feeling of wowing a crowd. Yeah, their whole intention, yeah, they're just looking at you, what you're gonna do next, and it's, it's kind of an ego boost, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's an ego boost I may never experience myself. Hey, if you're wondering why they call it the I-Bar Ultra Lounge, longtime Las Vegans will remember here at the Rio, that used to be the Ipanema Bar right in the center, so they shortened it down. They say I-Bar sounds a lot more hip for today's crowd. America's number one party continues straight after these messages. Yeah, baby!